We've been walking for probably 45 seconds. <laughs> I think I'm ready for a break. I already ate all the trail mix. There's no more water. This is not looking good. <laughs> So today we are very excited to be heading over to Diamond Head, one of Oahu's iconic landmarks, and we're actually going to hike up it, which is a very popular, apparently moderate hike, which is something that we are hoping for. So yeah, we're pumped to get up there. We're gonna take in the awesome view, get our walk on, and bring you along with us. Okay, so there's some ominous looking clouds behind us, and we just saw on the weather app that there is 90% chance of some rain. We'll have some, some good looks at either the rain or the city or both. But it's very hot, so I feel like a sprinkle would be okay. So Lindsay's wondering how much sweat can, can we see on video? We haven't even started yet. I think we're in the crater proper now. Yeah. Because uh, we're surrounded on all sides here. And we definitely feel a little mist. So right up there, it looks like where people are. Somewhere up there. There's a little station of some kind up there and you can definitely see a lookout point. One thing that you have to have before you come here is advanced reservations. Yes. Even if you're just walking up here. So we do, uh, we bought them, I guess, a couple of weeks ago? A couple weeks ago. I think there's something like 30 days in advance, maybe? Yes. You book through the, uh, I think there's a government park site. Yeah, Diamond Head State Park. Yeah. Diamond Head Monument or something. And now we're about to show our, our reservation. Two of us. Thank you, All right, fairly simple to get through there. And now, the actual climb. Now we can hear the thunder oh, yes. <laughs> behind us. Might be able to see those dark clouds. Uh, it is a race against time to beat those clouds to the top. They have an advantage. They're not extremely tired like I am. And then try not to drop our water down the hill. It's a good, good idea. Whoops. One thing you might want to consider too is a, is a foldable backpack. So we just bought this and it's awesome. It's very small in your, in your carry-on luggage on your way to your destination. Wonderful for day trips and hikes like this. It's cheap too. $25. $25 Canadian. Yeah. Okay. Stairs. This so is what's good about living on the seventh floor of an apartment building. You get a little bit of stair exercise. But I think there's a little more than seven, seven flights. Close to the summit. Oh yeah. That bit of water. We made it. But I'm exhausted. That's a beautiful view though. Alright, we made it to the top. It was moderate, yes. A little harder maybe than we had expected, but it's also really hot today, so that could be why. Seriously a hike that anybody can do though for sure. And uh, yeah, we were racing a little bit against that weather there. But uh, but I think we managed to succeed. We still got a beautiful view, the water looks ridiculously gorgeous.
Okay, so these stairs are attached to an old gun battery near the lookout and obviously not in use anymore. And then these stairs, you can go up or down, but um, pretty steep, so might yeah. be hard going up. Okay, full confession time. I much prefer going down than going up. I don't know, it just feels better for me. It's more my, my lifestyle. There it is. Working up a sweat. Meanwhile, I'm sweat free. <laughs> I don't sweat, I don't perspire. Yes, a bikini would be a good look for Diamond Head. It definitely wouldn't be hot. I would recommend a thong. The lookout at the top is, is awesome. It's not very big, so th there's always obviously a lot of people up there. But usually you can find some space and really get that good view, get your Instagram. There's definitely nothing on the way though in terms of like there's no fountains or... So you gotta bring lots of water. And know that it will be hot. Yes, because it's, it's a bit of a climb. And if you're not prepared for it, uh, it, can, it can wear you down. Okay, so in case you're wondering about round trip time on this hike, it took us about one hour total yep. to get all the way up there, take a bunch of pictures, um, stop and take a breath and get all the way back down. So Absolutely. They recommend one and a half to two hours for a leisurely, leisurely walk. walk. And that makes sense to me. I would say an hour and a half is probably nice and leisurely. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, we've completed our walk up Diamond Head. It was fantastic. We're sitting in the shade at the bottom here uh, where the visitor center is. And um, there's a nice breeze, birds, stuff falling out of trees. Creatures. Some kind of squirrel slash groundhoggy. Island squirrels. Island squirrels. Islands Island squirrels. in the squirrels. We wanted to check our health app to see how many steps we did. So here we go. So we went uh, for this hike 7,387 steps. Pretty good. And pretty good. we went up 38 floors. So that's quite, quite a ways up. Uh, it kind of felt like 38 floors, I would say. Yes. But again, it's uh, I feel really good right now. I definitely don't feel like I overworked. Um, I never had too much trouble. I don't know about you. No, I felt pretty good. I think there was like one moment where I was just like, holy poops, I need to catch my breath. Cause it was, I think it was just the combination of like the heat and the sun yeah. and just the like constant going up. But it passed pretty quickly and then, yeah, I mean, we just stopped for a second, took a sip of water and carried on. It was awesome. All good. Uh, but yeah, it's a great hike. Like a super fun, super fun hike. If you're here in Honolulu, you gotta do it. Yeah, I would absolutely say this is a must do. 